I'll show you the difference in the formations that he would have with bunches and just spreading across the field. You know, with the exception of the crazy scenario at Texas Tech where Leach got fired pretty much for not towing the line. That's an example. It's 2008. I wonder who Tech's playing there. Oh, wait. That looks like they're playing Texas. Yeah. I don't even know if Leach was there in 08. But you see see how wide that formation was. You also see how much closer the numbers, the 20-yard, 30-yard lines, are to the sidelines and how much further apart the hash marks are. Um, So you're spreading the defense out. You're creating these big areas of space, and then you're just telling your offense to go seek the space. You're just attacking space in the air raid offense. And that was the innovation of Mike Leach. In that clip you showed where he was sitting there with all the in that presser, talking about getting in the head, hitting in the head with a baseball or softball, he's talking about a college football playoff. And it's pretty amazing because a college football playoff, a big playoff, a 12-team playoff just got fucking approved. Now, he was talking about a 64-team playoff, and football's different from basketball. It's much more physical. You play once a week. College basketball is nowhere near as physical as college football. It's a tough game. College basketball players are some of the most premier athletes on the planet. Basketball players make some of the best rugby players. Love those guys. So you couldn't probably play a 64-game playoff and keep the importance of the college football season on the regular season games. But Mike was an innovator. And I think my point, more than anything about Mike, is that he did not give a fuck. Mike was not someone who cared what you thought. Mike was on the planet and was not a selfish guy by any means, but he was not going around seeking the approval of others. If he had a strong belief that there was a right way to do something, he did it. He took risks. He gave guys chances. He made guys like Gardner Minshew into cult heroes. If you you look up uh, Google Gardner Minshew mustache Mike Leach, Gardner, G-A-R-D-N-E-R, Minshew, M-I-N-S-H-E-W. Gardner Minshew transferred around. He was going to be a fifth-year senior. Saban told him, come to Alabama. He almost went. Leach said, no, come to Washington State and you'll lead the country in passing. Gardner came to Wazoo. Leach turned him into a fucking hero. Uh, Gardner Minshew is a, just a badass. And after a game, Gardner has his big mustache. Everybody at Washington State had these tape-on mustaches in the, in the stands. And they won a big game. I think they, it was the, the home game against Southern Cal, I think. And Minshew comes and puts the... He takes a fake mustache and puts it on Leach's lip while Leach is talking to the sideline reporter. And it's just funny as fuck, man. (laughs) That's it right there. Upper right. (laughs) Just hilarious. Hilarious. You see the fake mustache like all crooked on Leach's face. Leach is a great sport. Um, The players who ran his system, players who were kind of outliers, and Leach embraced those guys. I mean, Le- the Leach coaching tree is legendary. There's coaches all over the country. One just got hired from Washington State to hire at my final alma mater, University of North Texas, just got hired as head coach, head football coach, yesterday or the day before. Well, Leach, uh, groundbreaking guy, interesting guy, and I think more than anything, when you, talk, when you talk to or listen to guys like um, Chris Peterson from University of Washington talk about Mike Leach, they would say, man, I would go talk to Mike, and we would talk about everything under the sun except for football. 